uh, this little boat right here. It's a 17 foot Hurston runabout is what they call it. We're using this to go to the family summer cabin for the next few days. It's got 150 horsepower, two stroke on the back, but the problem is not so much how fast it can go, but how far we have to go, meaning you can't go full throttle because it just doesn't last. The fuel doesn't last. Already? I'm guessing out of gas. The problem with little boats is you're very weather dependent. Oh. We're going to be going from here which is uh, kind of Victoria, Southern Vancouver Island. We're gonna go all the way up uh, closer to Vancouver. And we slept it pretty late in the day. It's now 5 p.m. and uh, it takes about two and a half hours in this little boat. The beautiful thing with being in Canada, which is a pretty rich country compared to the countries we've been sailing through, they have uh, wind and weather data. So they have actual buoys out there and they upload that data. This is revolutionary to the internet. And you can see that data on your phone. Sorry, the camera's slowly tilting down. The crossing from Vancouver Island to uh, Vancouver is the kind of gnarly part. So right now, buoy data in the middle of that strait, a wave height of 0 0.3 meters and a period of three seconds. That's pretty good. I think we can try that. Let's, let's give it a try. My wife does not pack very light. When Ashley packs, she brings the whole house plus some. So we'll see how much weight this little boat can handle. One thing I haven't told you guys is where we're going. We're going to the Sunshine Coast. The Sunshine Coast is off of Vancouver and it's a beautiful area with relatively warm water compared to the rest of British Columbia. Come on. We're going to a cabin there, which is a family cabin and we only have it for about two months of the year. When I say we, it's actually the entire side of Ashley's family. So we're lucky that we get to be home this time to enjoy this old little cabin. It's probably over a hundred years old and it's right on the water with a beautiful look over top of this little town called Gibson's. You'll, you'll love it when you see it. It's pretty cool. Do we have enough stuff? Yep. Oh, who's driving? Lily's gonna drive. Where are we going? We're going to Keats Island. So this this engine is old, but it's it's a good engine. These got, these engines go forever, and uh, this nice Yamaha, kind of a Yamaha family, I guess. This is my mom's boat, and uh, this engine was bought before my dad died. It's probably like 16 years old. Mom has it tuned up every year, and it just goes. So the only thing is, you got to put a lot of gas in it when you're going places. Uh, we thought we better fill up before we go two and a half hours over to Vancouver. After sailing halfway around the world, we're back here in our backyard, the west coast of Canada. 
a big part of what drives our decision making on how we spend our days, weeks and years is the lust for adventure. There's the big underlying adventure of sailing around the world, but then there's also these mini adventures we try to create for our family. It usually involves a calculated risk, a break from any established routine, setting off with a very sparse plan and letting things unfold as they come. We made the right call, it's pretty calm. It's about as calm as it gets on this crossing. This is again the Strait of Georgia, so it can get pretty gnarly out here. But, uh, well, uh, sleeping. A little success story over here. A little girl sleeping. It's about an hour to go across from where we were. And uh, it's pretty comfy this ride. I'm, I'm stoked. It's these adventures that make it all worth it. It's what makes us feel alive makes us feel like we're living on our own terms. That's not good. Out of gas already? Seems a little soon to be out of gas. Think we're out of gas? I don't know, it doesn't sound good. Huh. I'm surprised I had the camera on while I was doing that. I was trying to clean the windshield. Huh. But we don't usually run out of gas this far away. Uh, no. <laughs> I hope the engine didn't die. You want to check the prop? It's a little heavy. I'm guessing out of gas. Um, luckily we brought two jerry cans. We did. Um, but the only problem with that is the fill up for the gas in this boat is in the is in the engine well, which gets water in it. I'll show you. Oh man. Get the weight poured. So that's the fill up, and that's the water spilling in. Must say, that might be one of the dumbest ideas on a boat. If I get water in the gas tank, that's the end of us. Well, it's the end of the engine. Ah. What about a funnel? There's a funnel in the back, right? Yeah, but that wouldn't help me, sweetie. Oh, no little boats, man. <sighs> okay. So we're kind of pointed into the waves now, well, side on, and it's much better. The water isn't coming into the, the bilge back here. It's not really a bilge, it's just a low spot in the boat. I'm gonna try and fill this up quickly here. How's the crew doing? We're happier now we have... We got rudely awakened. I wanna paddle your dog. Got like three quarters of a jerry can in. Let's see if this boat will start now. Well, this is just. Put me 
engine there. Just an assumption too that is we're out of gas. Who knows? Start motoring in this direction towards with the waves, and I'll put in another jerry can. Okay. You kind of keep us going the right direction? Yeah, if you just throw that on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> now, should I turn us against the waves or just better? where we're trying to go. Okay. Okay, the plan now is to kind of go where we're trying to go, which is with the waves, which allows me to put in the rest of the jerry can. And we have one more jerry can, so we got two in total. Hey, maybe we should do a patron update. Ha ha ha, because this isn't stressful enough. We're just doing a little uh, middle of the ocean refill. Absolutely gorgeous evening out here though. The sun's just setting over here behind me. And uh, we got Vancouver right here. And Mount Baker, I don't know if you can see Mount Baker in the distance. And Victoria, or Vancouver Island right over here, it's kind of Galliano Island. Um, yeah, beautiful little spot. The Sunshine Coast, which is where we're going right up here, has some of the warmest water on the BC coast. It's uh, like a little microclimate. But we should probably update you guys on where things are at. idea how much fuel is left. The fuel gauge is broken. <laughs> it's been broken a long time. I should take some responsibility there. Kind of reminds me of Nahoa. We have no fuel gauges on Nahoa either. <laughs> we did fix that this year. This is my great great grandmother's cabin. Uh, 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 the other one. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, we used to come over here after work on Friday nights and if we made it before dark we were always pretty thrilled with ourselves but uh, we didn't expect to run out of gas this time that was a little bit unforeseen might have made it before the Sun went down otherwise Whoa! look at the wood paneling my great-grandparents built this place by hand I think they had to build it twice, it burned down or something. Anyway, they built half and then they lived in the basement. I learned this all this year. I don't know why I did not know this before. My great grandparents were Baptist and uh, there's a Baptist church on this island and they own the land and it's been trying to be privatized for like the last 20 years. I don't know if it ever will be. The lease is up and I don't know how long, but for now we enjoy it, we really do. And uh, it's kind of like, it's part of my childhood coming here. We thought we wouldn't have it for very much longer. We thought it might be sold. I didn't expect it to be there this year and here we are again. And Ben says every time I leave here, I'm like, it's the last time I'm leaving here. I'm never gonna see this place again. He's like, it'll be there next year. <laughs> this is Ben, <laughs> it'll be there next year. And it's this adorable two bedroom cabin that is in various stages of disrepair, but it's pretty cool. But there's a basement room, which is like, not where anyone really wants to stay right now because it probably could use a little like clean up of the mouse poo. But uh, anyway, it's below us. We'll There's do a full the tour. We'll do a full <laughs> tour tomorrow. Before we do the official tour tomorrow, something I'd like to point out is this couch. It is uh, gold plated, um, velvety, with a silver made out of silver string. I love that couch. It's gorgeous. It is a masterpiece.